Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, we had a client reach out to me from consult.focological.com. They're watching one of our uh, YouTube videos and they wanted to know about how to move a item through multiple apps within Podio. Uh, this tutorial is going to go over specifically how to do that with Globiflow. However, I'm going to make another tutorial as well, which is linked in the description below about how to do that with Podio uh, Plus and Premium. So we're going to go ahead and go through that right now and we're going to discuss how to move based upon one classification um, and then also how to do it based upon two classifications. And we're also going to talk about along the same line how to generate multiple tasks um, within Globiflow on an item. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, so in this one, we're going to go ahead and go through Globifo um, automation uh, within the CRM. We're going to show you how to move an item from one app to the other and how to generate tasks. Uh, we're doing the, uh, like we said before, the exact same uh, demonstration using the Podio Premium Plus. So click that link in the description below so you can kind of get an idea of how they different, how they're different. In um, honestly, Globifo. Um, is the better one in the situation just because it has been working on this type of automation for a long time so it has a lot more aspects um, of fields that you can input data that you can input um, dates that you can calculate uh, for tasks uh, than the Podio Premium Plus does I'm sure they get there eventually but um, as of right now Globiflow just has more features uh, than Podio Premium Plus does so let me go ahead and show you first what the automation is that we've already built and then we're going to kind of duplicate it a bit more so we've got three apps that we're focused on on here right now which is leads prospects and project management so we're basically going from leads where we're qualifying um, a, a lead that has come into our pipeline so if somebody has contacted us from our website uh, we give them a call we qualify them and then we move them to a prospect where a sales representative will go through the steps of uh, giving them a quote and then winning the deal which will then move it to a um, project management application. Um, I just want to say right off the bat um, that this is all within one workspace but you can absolutely do this across multiple workspaces so if you have your project management in a different workspace um, this will all still work. So let me go ahead and just add a lead and you'll kind of see what starts to happen here so we're going to name this um, Computer Inc do it new, add myself as the sales rep, they created it today, I'm go ahead and put in a phone number, and email, Alright, so once the actual item is created, you're going to go ahead and see that um, right down here in the bottom left that tasks are automatically being assigned. So um, Globiflow within this application, when a new item is created, um, it assigns a task. Um, so right down here, new lead computer inc. Um, and I can click on that and it has a due date already plugged in and it's already assigned to the person um, that was in the sales rep field. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to that item. The next thing that I would do then is that I would qualify this person. And once they're qualified, um, it moves them into the Prospects app. And if you look down here in the bottom left, now you see that there's also tasks from the Prospects, prospects app that is being uh, created. So let's jump into that app there. So when I move it into the Prospects app, um, not only do I bring over um, information that was in the original description, uh, their phone, their email, um, I also pre-populate who the sales rep is and who the sales manager are. Um, I pre-populate the category as new. Um, and then down here um, at the lead notes, um, if there were any comments on the previous item, I bring in all the comments. Um, and then you'll see that the task that we generate was call the computer inc um, to the sales manager, check on the new prospect, um, and then also to the sales rep again was follow up on the computer inc but seven days later. Um, so all of these were just pre-populated by the fact that I qualified um, the lead item. So what I'm going to do now is that we want to move this into uh, now a project management funnel um, once it's one. And I kind of want to show you how to do that. So 
taking this uh, to a step of being a bit more complicated is them adding in um, a, a sec second kind of calculation as to where this is going to end up going. So not only do I want it to be one, but I also want the project to determine where it goes. Because if it's a social project, it's going to go to one app, and if it's an email project, it's going to go to a, a different app. So I'm going to show you how within Globiflow we can say make it so that it's one and social project um, to move it to another item put in all the details, assign people, assign tasks, but also on top of that too, what happens if somebody hits one and there's no project selected? What do you do in that case? So let's go ahead and jump into Globiflow. So um, luckily for me, <laughs> the day I did this uh, tutorial, Globiflow came out with the kind of new UI for the, making their flows. So uh, it's going to be as updated as updated can be, um, or as current as, up, as current can be. So let's go ahead and just click on our prospects app here. I'm going to go ahead and do add new and I'm going to do add new flow. So what I want to do is when an item is updated because the item's already been there for a while and now the sales rep has been in it for a while and he's going to mark it as one. Um, so that's an update to an existing item. So I'm going to go ahead and name this move to project management. All right, so the trigger is when an item is updated and then I have filters. So over here on the right hand side is where all kind of the variables are that you can plug in. So the filters are up at the top um, and that's field chained and field value match. So field changed is a very important um, filter within Globiflow because um, if I did not use any field chained values, if anything changes on the entire item that is classified as an update. So even if somebody goes in and changes the description, that's an update. So if I don't have um, Globiflow saying, just look at the, a change in this field, um, if I had the next field, which is going to be field value match, and that's category equals one. So if category was at one, um, and anything else change in this item, this flow is going to keep on running. So if somebody comes in and, and changes something after it's one, which would be kind of strange, but you, you'll get the kind of warning I'm giving you here, um, that this flow would continue to run. So always make sure that you have a field changed in there when you're doing this type of work. So the category is just changed and the category is equal to one. Um, and I'm going to add another field value match in there where the project is equal to social project because I'm saying that when it's one and when it's social project it's going to go here and when it's one and when it's the other type of project it's going to go to a different place. Um, next thing I'm going to do is actions. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to create an item and I'm going to go ahead and create that item um, in my demo project management. Once you select where it's going to be created in you have the little link here to add fields. So you can come in and do project name and I'll just set it as the, the name of the prospect. So this little icon here brings up all the fields that you can bring in um, into these um, fields. Um, and that's really a huge advantage that Globiflow has over um, Podio has, because Podio is a little bit limited. It doesn't have all these fields. Specifically, the one that I really love is all comments. It does not exist within Podio um, currently. Um, Globiflow lets you take all the comments that were on a previous item and bring them over um, as a text field. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, but let me just go ahead and keep um, adding these in. So the client um, is actually going to be I'm generating a contact card in here. So this is really cool about Globiflow is it lets me generate a contact card um, from fields that were in the previous one. So I'm going to go ahead and say the prospect's name, the prospect's email in their phone. The description, I'm going to go ahead and keep the same as before. But what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to say prospect comments. So I'm going to, this is what I was talking about, I'm going to bring in all the comments from the prospect item. And I'm going to do one more on top of that. I'm going to say lead comments. So these are all going to be all the comments from the lead item. It's going to be all in the same place, all within the same description field. I'm going to add a field. The CRM item. 
will be the current prospects item. So basically meaning this is the link. So that when I'm in this project management place and I want to see where it came from, it's just a link to go back and look at the prospect. And then this is the other part that's really important is you have the ability to um, add when you have fields within an application that are contact fields for workspace members, you can pre-assign those people. So um, if you're in a type of situation with your project management or any um, app where it's always the same people doing the same task, you can just pre-assign them when things are created uh, via Globy Flow. So I'm going to go ahead and say that my designer is myself, my writer is my other self. Um, and then start date. It's going to be current date, and look at this, I can do plus two days. So basically saying this was one on this date, and the project is going to start within two days of that. And then end date, I could say it's current day plus 32. So if it's a 30-day project, it will be done in 32 days. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now the next item that I really want to show you with this is Okay, so what we just did there was we said when it's one and when it has the social project, then move it. What happens if somebody marks it as one with no project? So we're going to go ahead and make a flow for that. And we're going to say that when an item is updated, I'm going to say project one error is the description. And the filter that we're going to go ahead and do is the, the changed, which will be the category. And then the category again is going to be one. And then what we're going to do is a custom calc. Um, so this is one area where Podio Premium Plus has a nice advantage. Is this specifically here, um, where I'm, I'm basically going in and saying a field is blank or not selected, um, is very easy and doesn't require any custom calculations, uh, but um, within Globy Flow you have to use a PHP calculation. So um, it's pretty simple though. I'm basically going to go in and say the project um, does not equal anything. And that's what that means. So basically the project is blank. So if it was the categories just changed and the category is one and the project is blank, we're going to go ahead and assign a task. And we're going to assign that to the sales manager of the prospects. And we're going to say error on prospect one we'll put the title in here and we'll say oh, and we want it to be the current date and we're going to say um, was just marked as one with project type please update the item with the URL below and remark as one. And then we'll give them a link. So this means that if they're looking through their um, actual task list, um, they can just click this link and go straight to the item. Um, but the next item what we have to do here is we now what we can do um, is update the item. And we're going to go in and say category is equal to in progress. So let's review what this means. So if the category has just changed and it's been one, but the project is blank, go ahead and assign a task to the sales manager to make sure that the item actually does have a project type, and then go ahead and change that category back to in progress so it's all ready for the sales manager when they go back. And then we're going to go ahead and hit, hit save. All right, now the final part that I want to show you here um, is how to assign tasks when an item is created. Um, and then we're going to review how this all works within Podio. Um, and then that'll be it. So let's go ahead and do a new flow here. And when an item is created, we're going to go ahead and assign tasks. So I have the ability when a new item is created, I'm going to assign it to the designer. I'm going to say um, make a logo. And then here's the cool thing. So it brings in the date fields that are on those items, so the start date. I did the current date. If you remember, I set in the previous flow the start date on the actual item to be plus two. So now I'm going to just start there and say, you know, I want to be on that day. So start date, and I can do another one. Um, I can say assign designer. 
um, submit logo start date plus five and I can do some now for the writer so for the writer I'm gonna say make a good copy that's gonna maybe be after somebody else does their part so I'll say that's in 10 days basically the point being is that you can really go through and automate this and the cool thing too is that if you're using like a virtual assistant or any type of assistant that maybe needs um, to kind of have some hand holding along the way you can put in full details here so you can have predefined tasks really just like outline everything they have to do maybe even with links to like a Google Doc that describes the process for them so it's really just easy for you to automate your entire business um, using Globiflow here and I do want to bring up a difference here in regards to Podio Premium and Plus um, Podio Premium Plus has the ability to assign tasks on an item create as well, but the due date here, um, you only get things like next Monday, next Friday, um, current day, um, the same type of um, predefined drop down menus when you're making a task. Um, it doesn't give you a custom date option, so this is an advantage that Globiflow has over um, Podio Premium Plus. So let's hit save on that and then let's try everything and see what happens here. So if I come in here to this project, and you remember that I would set the rule where um, this has to be selected. So actually, you know what? I forgot to do something. Let's go back and look at this one more time. Move to project management. I want to go ahead and edit that. Okay, no, I did do it. So the project has to be equal to social project. All right, let's go ahead and run this. So I'm basically going to go ahead and say um, one. And we'll see what happens here. All right, that didn't work because I made an error. And let me show you what that error was. It actually makes you learn um, two custom PHPs for Globiflow here. So um, on my project one error flow here, my PHP is actually saying that um, if project is not blank. Um, and what I actually wanted to say is if it is blank, do this. So that's what this is, equals equals space, and then two quotations. That basically is meaning that um, the project status has nothing in it. So let's try that again, and we should see it run. <laughs> All right, so if we hit one here. All right, so there you go. You see that it already generated a task error on prospect one. And then if I exit the item and I'll come back into it, we'll see that the category went back to in progress. So now let's go ahead and market a social project and then we're going to hit one. Now, we look over in the bottom left, project management is assigning tasks to us. If we come over into project management, we're now going to have a new item for computer inc. It's already assigned a start date. It's already assigned an end date, which is down here. It's gone ahead and um, put in the project name, made a client card. Um, oh, I didn't mark a status, but you can predefine a status, so it would have been new. Uh, description is interest in our products. There's the prospect comments, there's the lead comments. Um, it's all in there. It links to the previous item, but it's signed a design, assigned a writer. Um, start date, end date, and made all those tasks. So you can imagine if you're doing this on a you know a daily basis, you have this many projects. Even if it's not on a daily basis, just imagine the amount of time that you'd be saved from having this all being automated. Um, that's what Globiflow really does have the power to do. Um, so check out the product. There's a link in the description below. Um, reach out to me at consult.focalogical.com if you have any questions. So if you want to check out Globiflow, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. Like I said, it was from somebody that requested um, some help or a question uh, via consult.focalogical.com. We did this all for free. Um, hopefully they enjoy it and hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you would like your own consultation, please go to consult.focalogical.com. There's a link in the description below and I'd be happy uh, to help you out. Want your feedback about this too? Feedback.focalogical.com. Would love to know what you think about these videos. Um, also, we're building um, some custom pre-built Podio solutions uh, that enable you to um, 
purchase them for a flat fee from us, and then uh, we install them um, on your system, on your Podio, uh, complete with automation, marketing, email, um, lots of fun stuff. So check that out at podiosolution.focalogical.com. Thanks for watching, guys.